I was one of the many Cubers able to take part in Cuban USA Nationals 2017. These videos share my experience. Hey everyone, Andrew here. Today I have another vacation vlog. So this trip kind of has three parts. First, I'm going to Madison, and there's a Cuban competition there. Then I'm going to Chicago and doing some fun stuff. And then uh, I'll continue on to Fort Wayne for US Nationals 2017. The Madison competition is pretty small. Nationals obviously is not small. I did go to Nationals last year, but I did not compete and all my footage got lost. So I'm so excited. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Here we are, Grand Wayne Center. Here we are. I, I don't know if they do no. have a gym. But. So I was doing like a blind puzzle test where I close my eyes and then someone gives me a puzzles and I have to figure out what they are. And one of them was, um, okay, so I have this edge cube that I made a while ago. Uh, and one of the puzzles I got when I had my eyes closed was a Fisher cube equivalent of this. So like a Fisher cube without corners. And at first, I, like I first pick it up and I'm like, what the heck is this? And then I'm like, oh, this is, <laughs> this is a Fisher cube without corners. It was pretty funny. I just got called up for skew. That's the first thing I'm doing today. So far, I'm doing fine. Hey. That's an official PB. Sweet. The went really well. My normal average is like 10 to 11, and 4 of my 5 solves were sub 10. I got a 9.01 average. This is a 3x3, three three, and the opposite clothes are the same. I am brave. I didn't even throw it out of mechanics, but I've never seen it on a 3x3 three three before. So, I was solving this, I got the PLL. I got here, I started to do a Z perm. And then the cube was solved. Four moves into the Z pump. That was a really cool solve, actually. Solved one of these twice. It's a lot of fun. I might have to get one. This puzzle is overrated. It's really hard to turn, and it's just a three by three shape mod. That's my official PB. Oh, nice. So, 4x4 is done. I got a 127, which is decent. I got a 113, which is awesome for me. And cutoff was 110, so I didn't get any more solves. I remember that competition in May when I got a 129.99 average that allowed me to compete in 4x4 here. I'm going to attempt to solve this. What? Solved it. Took a while. Interesting solve. 123! Max Park beat Kevin Hayes in 5x5, and not only that, he got national record for single and average. I just got called for procurement, so I'm doing decently. I want a sub-10 average. That's my official PB. So we're just about to start Megan's finals. So. I'm gonna watch that.
today is Lucas Edder's birthday, so they're just giving everyone cake for free. Not everyone, but first come, first serve, and barely everyone here knows about it. Or barely anyone knows that there's cake for free. I'm looking at cube comps and I got an official PB for everything I competed in today. So for 4x4 I didn't get an average because the cutoff was 110, but I got an official PB single for 4x4 and then official PB single and average for pure minx and official PB single and average for skewb. Tomorrow I have 2x2 and 3x3. National records were broken for Mega Minx, Single, Pure Minx, Average, and Clock Average. No world records yet. The only competing left for day one is FMC, which is going on in a different room right now. Later tonight, there's a sale challenge. So, some... News reporter people just came and interviewed me, so I'm gonna be on TV tonight. That's really cool. They just, they asked me like, why am I at this competition? Why am I interested in cubing? How long have I been doing it for? What's my best time? What do I, what are like goals I have at this competition? Just basic stuff like that. Watch out. They're about to start the sale challenge. The person to their right got to prepare the cube for the person to their left. <laughs> Tighten everything way up. Put like peanut butter. Yeah, <laughs> that would be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> It's Derpy Cuba versus Rami Spocky. Final round, Bill Wang versus Derpy Cuba. They just started the Thunderclap Challenge. It's the same as the Sail Challenge, except when they do the head-to-head -head competing, there's, quote, different rules. I don't know what that means. Bill will be hand scrambling the cube, and Daniel will be taking 20 seconds to hand scramble the cube. Please do not begin yet. Uh, he is allowed to twist corners, change center caps, flip edges, exchange pieces, as long as you do not break the cube. <laughs> Okay, so now both competitors have their cues. There's no inspection time. Oh. Oh. Oh, dang. I'm gonna host her. Yes, I guess. Oh, my now they're switching pieces between cubes, so... So one cube will have like two of a certain kind of piece. We don't get any inspection time.
just in one of DG Cube's videos. It was, um, I was heading back into the hotel because I was, because the sale challenge and the Thunderclap challenge just ended. And, uh, uh, DG and Adam were filming a video. And I walked by and DG said, like, we're filming a video, you can be on it if you want. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And it was like, reading funny YouTube comments and um the camera stopped recording so it might not end up being on YouTube but still cool there's a minor league baseball stadium right next to the hotel and they're shooting off fireworks my dad and my brother went to the baseball game and apparently, at the game, they said good luck to all the Cubers. 